Deputy President William Ruto and Raila Odinga are going to share a platform today in Kisumu. But we are not going to dissect that now. I'm going to dissect that later or tomorrow morning. But today, I want us to dissect Mike Mbuvi Sonko, his latest appointment of cabinet, and why I think Mike Mbuvi Sonko has a game plan with the deputy governor of Nairobi. But before we do that, kindly remember to subscribe. Polycap Igade, who was Mike Sonko deputy governor, resigned exactly one year ago today. And around March last year, Governor Sonko nominated Dr. Miguna Miguna to replace Polycap Igade. This did not materialize. And after that, a lot of Sonko's cabinet members have resigned. The latest being the 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 CEC for for education, Janet Uhuru And the moment Janet resigned and exposed Sonko a lot, Sonko called a press conf conference and announced a new cabinet. And one thing we must give to Sonko is that his choices cannot be questioned because they are mo mostly people of integrity with the right qualifications and he appointed new cabinet but he did not appoint deputy governor and that basically forms the core of this discussion today but i want to say something i listened to governor sonko while making that particular appointment and personally i was not impressed by the kind of words he used towards the, the to, towards a respected woman like Janet Mudon. To me, that was very unfair of Sonko to refer to her, to her the way she di he did. And let me just play for you a bit of what Mike, how Mike Sonko referred to, to Janet, so that you can be a judge. of power, mtu ashaanza kujipiga kufua na sema, sasa kutaja jina, manajua ni nani? Anaanza kusema, oh, sivi mimi na, na muogopa hako na dozi ya yangu. Mimi ziogopi, wewe dozi ya yako, Imeleta na DCI, si Sonko. Yangu peleka kwa DCI, peleka kwa ESCC. Those are the diversionary tactics. Hizo eh? tunasema kwa lugha ya kimombo, those are the uh, uh, last kicks of a dying, uh, not even a dying uh, ho uh, horse. They are the last kicks of a dying, horny female donkey. Yeah? Kwa hivyo mimi, sita yako kwa... Kwa vita ndogo ndogo na ishimu wa mama sana. Sita kwa na, na, na pigana na, na wa mama. Yeah? Ama kwa lugha kibombo na yazasema, you don't pursue a honey female pig into the mud. So in my view, that was disrespect to the women folk in this country. But that's not the core of this discussion. So today, I want us to try and dissect why Governor Mike Sonko is not interested in appointing a deputy governor. To begin with, Mike Sonko has tried to work as a governor and some of the things he has done can be seen. The town is now a bit clean. Yeah, he, he tried and dealt with the, with the muggers in town and some good things, yeah? His impact on the, in the slums are felt by the people living in those areas. But there's one area where Sonko has refused to fill. That's the position of the deputy governor of Nairobi. And why? Now, this is my take. In March, Governor Sonko announced to the old republic that he was appointing, I mean, he was appointing Dr. Meguna Meguna. And Kenyans were really excited. Personally, I knew Sonko was just playing games because there was no way Meguna Meguna was going to be, the name of Meguna Meguna was going to pass in Nairobi County Assembly. Nairobi County Assembly members are controlled by two people, President Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, basically Jubilee and ODM. 
And if they were going to nominate a governor, I mean, if they were going to pass the nominee, any nominee of Governor Sonko, the name must be sanctioned by the respective parties. By the time Sonko was nominating Meguna Meguna as a, as a deputy governor, Sonko knew so well that there was no way President Uru Kenyatta was going to allow Meguna Meguna to be nominated on a jubilee ticket. But he still went ahead. And at that time also, Governor Mike Sonko knew so well that there was no way ODM was going to allow its members to pass the name of Meguna Meguna because of the, the, the kind of exchange the Twitter was he, he waged against Rilo Dick. So there was no way. So Sonko knew so well the situation and he went ahead and, and uh, forwarded the name of Meguna Meguna. So in my view, that was tactics used by Mike Sonko to mark time. So yesterday, a lot of people expected Governor Sonko to nominate a new deputy governor. But that did not happen. Mike Sonko gave an excuse and he read for us a name. Rehab Nambuki. And according to Mike Sonko, this name was forwarded by NASA coalition. And the letter was signed by one Norman Magaya. I don't know whether NASA still exists. Yeah, but if if Sonko was serious, the respective parties should have forwarded the name of Dambuki. But Sonko is also very well aware that there's no way the name Dambuki is going to pass in that assembly. So he's also still playing games. Dambuki is a male but married in Ukambani. And the fact that our, our politics in the country is tribal, the fact that Nabuki has a, a Kamba name there will make it very, very difficult for the assembly to pass that name. So Songo knew that the name he was giving out to Kenyans was actually going to be rejected by the political parties, by the, the MCS. So it was just marking time. But why is Governor Mark, Mike Sonko marking time with the deputy governor? Number one is what I call fear factor. Remember, in case a governor dies in office, the deputy governor takes over. And during the burial of uh, the late Nyeri governor, Mike Sonko was very vocal about the deputy governors and the fears that they could actually be behind the killings of governors so that they can take over. So in my view, that's the major problem Mike Sonko is facing. He fears. Number two is, you will know Mike Sonko is handicapped in certain aspects of life. He's not well educated. He doesn't have uh, management ability. And in fact, when, Gover when Deputy Governor Igade was uh, put as the running mate for Governor Sonko, it was actually to, to cover up for that handicap. Because Gav Igade is well educated, Igade has worked in uh, big uh, companies, so he was going to bring the management skills and he was going to run the management aspect of the county of Nairobi while Sonko was going to deal with the politics of Nairobi. But once Ma Mike Sonko was in office, he realized that basically this thing, you must manage all of them. And they could not agree with the Gade. And the Gade had to resign. So Sonko fears today that if he brings on someone who is also educated, because that was the constitution state, then the person might give him problems. Of course, once a deputy governor is appointed, the governor now has no control. The deputy governor can just decide and do whatever he can or whatever he wants, and Sonko will do nothing. So that's another fear that Mike Sonko has. Number three, if you look at Mike Sonko's friends, the people around him, 
the people around Mike Sonko, in my view, would also not want Sonko to have a strong deputy. Because these people are actually the people running the show in Nairobi. And a deputy governor might interrupt there's there's smooth operations in the in the in the county and therefore they don't want governor sonko to appoint a new deputy governor and lastly in my view i think it also has to do with the, the politics of 2022 mike sonko announced that he was not going to run for the deputy i mean for the governorship of nairobi again but of late if you ask me governor mike sonko is going to defend the seat and what does that mean he must get someone he can control as the deputy and this person can actually he can actually run with him again in 2022 and that's why it's marking time because now we have one year off so if we manage another two years then it means the deputy will only serve for three years basically two years because the the, the last year will be electioneering so he can run ag again with that guy. So he's still doing his own calculations and figuring who can I put my deputy, who can in the future be my running mate in case I decide to run. And lastly, I think also there's also this element of Kidero factor. I'm told there's nothing that Mike Sonko fears like Kidero factor. Anybody who is close to Kidero or who has worked to Kidero, or is known to Kidero, Governor Mike Sonko cannot work with as the TPT governor. And I don't know where, whether he will get someone like that, because Kidero was a technocrat for a long time. And most of these people, it's a field. They play golf together. They attend the same meetings together. So it will be very difficult for Mike Sonko to get someone who has never interacted with the governor, Kidero, at a personal level. And probably that's why Miguna was a good choice for him thank you guys for watching and please always remember to subscribe